Today, I wanted to share with you what I think are some of metal's most underrated riffs. These are awesome riffs from some really big bands that are kind of underappreciated and have sort of been forgotten. So I wanted to highlight some of these and show them some love because I think they're great. If you can think of any underappreciated riffs that you think should be on this list, let me know in the comments down below. Let's get into this. This is metal's most underrated riffs. Riff number one, Slayer and Payback. This is a rare and super low tuned riff from the Kings of thrash metal, but it still goes absolutely as hard. It's super fast and it's super heavy. Riff number two is Carcass and Embodiment. Carcass are melodic death metal legends from the UK. If you haven't heard the album Heartwork, I highly, highly suggest you check it out. This is a slow and exquisite low tuned riff. Chef's kiss. Riff number three, Metallica, The Struggle Within. Metallica may be the greatest of all metal bands, the GOAT as they say, but even they have some underrated riffs like this one. The riff just after the solo on this song is short but sweet. Riff number four is Sixth and Skies of the Millennium Night. Sixth are probably the smallest band on this list, but they've had a, a pretty big influence. They were definitely ahead of their time, and without them, you probably wouldn't have bands like Periphery. This riff uses two-hand tapping, something which is usually a lead guitar technique. It's a really, really cool riff. Riff number five, Children of Bodom. Trashed, lost, and strung out. Alexi Leho and Children of Bodom were a big deal for me when I was younger, and this riff definitely caught my attention. Bodom always had such a unique style with their riffs, and this one is no exception. Hey everybody, we'll get back to the riffs in just a second. I just wanted to take a moment to thank the sponsor of today's video, NordVPN. If you're like me, you probably spend a lot of your time on the internet. And whether you're streaming, doing some internet shopping, or even gaming, you wanna make sure that you're doing it securely. Say you're at a coffee shop or traveling and you connect to a public Wi-Fi or hotspot. Without a VPN, someone could be monitoring everything you're doing, leaving your personal information and online data vulnerable. NordVPN can help you browse the internet safely by encrypting your internet traffic, securing your online data from prying eyes. It's easy to use, they have super fast servers all over the world so that with one click, you can protect your data. You can even make it seem like you're in a totally different location, which is very handy if you want to stream shows which aren't available in your region. Nord Security features malware threat detection and encrypted cloud storage for sensitive files. So protect your online data, head over to nordvpn.com forward slash Pete 
to get an exclusive deal. Save a bunch of money with any two year plan, get an extra month for free, and it's totally risk free with Nord's 30 day money back guarantee. That's nordvpn.com forward slash Pete Cottrell. Click the link in the description to protect your online data, and it helps me out too by letting them know that I sent you. So now you're all set. Let's get back to the riffs. Riff number six, arch enemy, leader of the rats. Sweden's arch enemy have a lot of underappreciated riffs. However, this one is the one which stands out the most to me. It's a super low tuned chug fest that's basically the perfect tempo to headbang along to. Riff number seven, Nickelback, side of a bullet. No, you didn't hear me incorrectly. I did say Nickelback. Why? Because this riff is heavy. Riff number eight is Death and Secret Face. Death were legends of death metal, and over the years they featured some of the finest musicians in the genre. This riff from Secret Face is so cool because it's somehow simple but intricate at the exact same time. Riff number nine, Limp Biscuit, My Generation. Now, I know what you're thinking, but Wes Borland from Limp Biscuit doesn't just have a lot of underrated riffs. He himself is underappreciated as a guitar player. I think he's awesome. Lots of his riffs are truly innovative using effects, tapping, and in this case, the whammy bar. And finally, riff number 10, Trivium, Unrepentant. This riff is layered with a healthy dose of thrash and attitude. It's fast, it's driving, it's unrepentant. <laughs> So those were some of what I think are Metal's most underrated riffs. But what do you think? Leave me your suggestions in the comments down below. And if you like riffs and want more, you're probably going to want to check out this video over here.